Recordology. Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology once again. So thankful to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So it occurred to me a few days ago that we haven't done a follow-up video on this bad boy right here. This is the VTA 270B from Victrola. And I got to thinking in our ongoing series of one year later videos where I show you how things have been, you know, since unboxing, I realized it's been a good year since we reviewed this. Well, come to find out it's been over two years, over two years since we reviewed this. I cannot believe it. This was the first in the series uh, from Victrola of this new sort of mid-century six-in-one look. And we got this before it even went on sale to the public and they actually wanted their product sample back, which uh, eventually they let, let me keep. Uh, but they initially wanted it. It was so new that they wanted it back. And uh, now there's a full range in this line with this design. It's like black with brass and dark wood. And there's like a four in one, a five in one, six in one. You can get variations that have different features and, and stuff like that. But I thought we would give it a review. This is the full blown six in one. This has everything pretty much. I think you can still buy this exact one. Um, but yeah, I just wanna let you know how it's been. So instead of doing a full review, I'll put a link in the description below for the full initial review uh, if you wanna watch that. So I'm not gonna go through everything. I just kinda of wanna talk about how it's been, how it's performed. Quick overview. It's got a CD player. It's got a radio with a beautiful radial dial. Um, it's also got Bluetooth in. So you connect your phone to it and it, it use, it's used as like a Bluetooth speaker. It doesn't transmit Bluetooth out. Uh, let's see what else. FM radio, no AM, uh, and aux input, headphone jack. And then if we spin it around on the side, we got a cassette player. It's a slot in cassette player. On the back, we have a line output. I get a lot of questions on this. Can I connect it to an external sound system? You can, and that's how you would do it. That's about it, a little FM antenna power plug, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and demo it to you. Overall, it's been a good unit. I've had a couple of small issues, most notably with the cassette player. Uh, this one right out of the box had some wow and flutter issues. Uh, it's pretty evident, I think, in the initial test, but it was okay. Uh, a lot of them have, you know, the wow and flutter out of the box. Then I didn't really use the tape for a few months, and then I went to go put a tape in, and it sounded crazy. It was all kinds of issues, so I don't know if you know, the grease had dried a little bit or whatnot, but I really haven't used the tape that much. So let's start there and see how the tape player is working. That's really been it. This lives in our bedroom uh, and it does an amazing job because it, it's, the lights on it are like this amber glow and it looks so awesome when it's the only thing on in the room in terms of lighting. So let's go ahead and zoom in down here. I'm going to, we're gonna put a tape in and give it a listen and flip this to tape and it should start playing automatically. And see what we get. Oh, helps if I turn it on. Okay. Here's the tape clicking in. Is it gonna start? So it doesn't sound great. <laughs> Fast forward it a little bit, so barely wanted to get started. So this one just seems to have the bad tape player, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that warbliness. <laughs> so there you go, tape player, no bueno. And uh, I'd, honestly, we don't use it for the tape, so hasn't been a huge you know, deal breaker for us. What we use it for primarily actually is CD. Um, let me show you what it sounds like. I'm gonna turn it back to CD mode here. And you'll get an idea for that. We listen to a lot of Hawaiian music and uh, it's just nice for that. We have, literally I have all my Hawaiian records in the bedroom and the Hawaiian CD. And we just kind of have that playing. But when it's, you know, playing the CD or the record, it sounds great. Very rich, very full sound. Good bass. Very good sound, you know, definitely something that I think is an acceptable sound level. Just gonna skip through a few tracks here and... 
Good rich sound, I like it. Sorry, the animals are going a little nuts today. This is great to have on at night. It's kind of hard to see with this lighting, it's so bright out right now, but the display there actually has these gold LED numerals. So it matches, you know, the tight face on the radio dial and the overall look. It's very, very cool. The bottom is pretty simple, it's just a fiber board. You can tell where things are anchored. Plastic feet with like a little rubber disc in there. Fabric grill. It's not designed to be like this audiophile experience. It's a functional record player and a stylish design. As you can hear, the sound quality is fine. Let's go ahead and listen to a record. It's got the typical sort of uh, Chuo Denshi type ceramic cartridge. Let me move you a little closer up here. It's got the Skywin type turntable platter mechanism with the nearly full size platter. It's a little dusty in there, my apologies. But it's got a cueing lever, it's three speeds. Does a good job, flip it over to Phono. Again, it's Hawaiian music. The descent is kind of rapid on that, isn't it? Very warm and rich. I keep a stylus gel thing in here and one of the uh, uh, carbon fiber brushes. Listen to quite a few records in here, or on here. If you play pop music, I have had a couple of times where it skips, but pushing down on that rest back there seems to fix the issue for the most part. Sometimes these mechanisms will just skip on pop music. If you want to play music that has a lot of, you know, sudden bass drops and stuff like that. Sometimes it's worth that further investment. A lot of people don't have any issue whatsoever uh, with these doing that, but, you know, some people do. It's hard to say. But anyway, there's a, there's a listen to the record player itself. It's fine. It sounds good. Three speeds. You could play, you know, play mostly LPs on this. Maybe 45. You can put a 78 on there if you want. It's not going to hurt anything. The styling is is amazing. I like it a lot. Uh, the physical build quality seems good. It's a, you know, a laminate, a really nice kind of dark laminate over the top of probably a fiber board or a particle board. Um, again, this dial has a light, and, it's, and you can't see it right now because it's so bright out, but it has a light that goes all the way around it, and it looks really cool when it's the only light in the room. It really, really does. And um, so, yeah, I would give this thing... You know, a 9 out of 10. The only issue is that cassette player. I've got a bad one on this unit. Could I fix it? Possibly. And, uh, you know, so it may not be a complete deal breaker. It's, a, you know, it's not going to be on every one of these. It's this particular one. They make these by the millions. So there's going to be a yield where they have one that has a bad turntable or a bad CD player or a bad tape player in my case. It just happens. So if this were to happen years, you just return it, get an exchange. And then, the, you know, most likely that replacement won't have the issue. So that's just the way it works. That's just the way it works. So anyway, um, yeah, I still would recommend this unit. It's great for an office. It's great for a bedroom. Uh, the styling aesthetic, I feel like would fit in a lot of different places. So, you know, if you want to have, again, I've talked about this in the past and fairly recently, if you want to add vinyl to, um, to what you're doing now, but you don't, you're not like converting everything over to vinyl, but you want to get some records and play them and have it look cool. This is a great unit for that. Definitely a great unit for that. Some people ask me, what do I think about this mid century six in one versus the old school six in one? I like this a little better. I really do. I think it sounds a little warmer, a little richer, and I like the styling. I, I think it's, it's beautiful. So anyway, that's my two cents. Two years in, I'm still using it. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm unplugging it, hauling it back into the bedroom. And uh, we use it probably three nights a week. Uh, at least listen to the CD player. Really haven't had any issues whatsoever. So anyway, hope you guys thought that was interesting. If you want to snag one of these, I'll put a link in the descri description below, as well as a link to the original review video. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.